Hello, art lovers. How you doing today? I got a uh, 11 by 14 canvas panel here that we're going to do. A uh, colander pour on my paints today are <clears throat> my artist loft flow acrylics all except for the the bright pink and that is folk art just folk art pink no silicone in any of my paints today so uh, let's load it up I think this time I'm going to put the hot pink in the bottom I'm going to put a little bit of black in there with it have a little bit of a turquoise on the green side left over throw some of that in there got my artist loft blue put that in there got some white put the white in there sorry my hands are in the way see all that good grimy stuff down there yeah and we'll put the yellow right on top of that have some little bit of homemade blue made mixture that I made up makes it into a dark just a little bit left get out of the way so what do we want next put some yellow in let's put some white Red, pink, black, Blue. All right. That's the end of the blue. Throw this turquoise, the rest of the turquoise in. Throw the rest of the black in. Excuse me if my arm's in the way. Rest of the pink, we use the rest of the red. Let's 
you know, these are my little meow mix. Can you see that? Meow mix little cat food cups that I feed my cat with. And uh, they work great for mixing up small. Get my fingers over here in the camera. They work great for mixing up small amounts of paint. And use them to uh, hold things up, you know, hold canvases up off the off the ground and there's a lot of things I use them for when it comes to the pain and like I'll take them outside and I'll put them underneath the painting or whatever if I'm gonna put varnish and spray varnish on it or you know things like that and that way, if they get covered in, you know, call all kinds of varnish or whatever, you just throw them away. You know, you're, you're not out a lot of money. So. Or you can sit there and wait until the varnish dries, collect them up, and use them next time. Uh, but there I go. Got the little dab of yellow on top. Let's see. I'm going to pull it up high again. It works better for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing if I do it that way. And pour it in there fast. Just let her run. So I'm trying to do it slow and control it. It's part of painting and pouring. You just pour it in there. Look at all the cool things you can, it makes, you know. And also, no, I haven't, I haven't started on it yet, but I still have that thing coming out, painting with, painting with me, painting with Dennis, where I go step by step and paint a picture. Uh, I'm working on it, but it, It hasn't, uh, <laughs> I started one earlier and the battery in the camera went dead and didn't know about it, so. You know, I never really checked for level on this, but it seems to be pretty level because Not moving too fast. Let's lift that up a little bit. How we doing down there? All right, let's pop the bubbles. Tiny bubbles. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. See all those little bubbles popping? Probably not. Sorry. My paint was sitting for a little while and, and I have it, and I'll show you here in just a second, I have it in these jars. So I had to shake it up a little bit to get it all mixed up because, like I said, it has been sitting for a little while. About a week or so since the last time I did a video. I know, it's my fault. I'm sorry. That's how I didn't get a video up there yesterday, but hopefully... One of these will be up here soon and kind of make the place, hopefully take the place of it. But I have them in these bottles here. The Cobalt Blue and Floetrol. And I should, you know, you shake it up and uh, you get air bubbles in it. But that's looking pretty cool. Yep, that is paint. Okay. All right. My fingers clean? Probably not. See all that? Pretty cool, huh? 
All right, now here we want to go a little slow. Well, a little slower. <laughs> See, I've already went over that edge. I don't want to go over that edge. But I had to go over the edge. So. Or I went over the edge. All right. Back to center. Back to center. Now I'm going to try to leave the uh, corners, negative space in the corners. Sometimes it doesn't work that way. Sometimes this stuff has a mind of its own and it just goes where it wants to. And that's another cool factor of look at all that I don't want to lose that all right so let's go over let's go this way see if I can protect that somewhat without losing all of it that's pretty cool. All right. Yeah, it's it's working its way back. That's pretty cool. I like that. And sometimes I'll try to leave a negative space in a corner. And my uh, big fingers will get all painted. And then I'll touch the stupid corner. And it has paint on it. And, and then what do you do? Well, you can either paint it white, but the whole idea of leaving negative spaces so you see negative canvas underneath it. Or if you put down a bottom coat, you know, the, the paint or whatever. <laughs> that's pretty cool let's see if I can get it I'm trying to keep it tilted down low enough where you y'all at home can see what it's doing it's still flowing a little bit I'm trying to get some more of that I don't quite like all that pink down there, so I'm gonna to try to get some of that pink to go over the edge and bring out more of the uh, the yellows and the blues and the turquoise color. And still keeping my negative space type stuff. going on alrighty here we go I know you got a glare right right in there but got some more bubbles there so let's see if we can get some more bubbles popped
what do you know? I got all my negative space in my corners and I didn't touch it with my pain fingers. Alright, some of those ain't popping. Alright, break out my trusty high dollar tool here. See why this doesn't pop. Alright, let's see why this one doesn't pop. They're popping once I stick this in there, but I can't get them to pop with the heat. Go figure. There's a, um, that was something. Still maybe a little bit more there. There we go. Head not there no more. Here's that one. Alrighty, our lovers, what do you think? All right, our lovers. Tell me what you think down in the comments of this. In my monitor, it's really blue, but I mean, it's a lot more pink. These are all. This is all pink. Of course, you got your red over here. You almost got some purple going on, light lavender colors. But it, give me a painter's thumb up if you enjoy it, like it. Leave it down in the comments and uh, keep your eye out for the uh, Painting with Dennis series that's coming up on this channel. And uh, till next time, get out there and paint something. Enjoy yourself while you're doing it.